Welcome to this tutorial in the low poly asset making. We're gonna make something that looks like it could be from this game, Hitman 2, the silent assassin. It's like basic uh, 3D models, not high poly or anything and not so high uh, details on the textures. But it's good practice for a beginner to learn like the workflow modeling, texturing, then putting it in the game engine to look how it looks in game. But, uh, stay tuned and I will show you how to make this. And uh, first off, I'm so sorry for the audio quality. I'm using like the basic mic that come with a crappy webcam. So that's why the audio is so bad. So this is like a typical asset we're gonna make. Really low poly. Like you can see the cubes that it uh, has been made of. Like this is a basic cube, this is a cube. I only use like cubes. These steps are... But as you can see it looks fairly detailed. Like it could be from PS2 slash PS3 era. Okay so like for the episode 1 gonna make it really really basic okay so in Maya just download the student version or get it uh, ru running on your computer so then hold shift or uh, have it in four views you do that with the holding space and just make a plane or go here polygon plane and show up like this with a lot of details but we don't need it we're gonna click on this the polar plane and make it one one now we got rid of a lot of details and then do it like this And to get get it shaded, just press press on this. Got it shaded. Then go to panels and UV texture editor. Now you see the UVs. Since we are just using a basic square plane, we don't need to think about the UVs so much. Go to create UVs. I have to have it in polygons there. Polygons. Create UVs. And we can have it automatically mapped. I use that a lot. And then go to UV snapshot. And for games or my type of uh, graphic games it's from uh, 2001 or something and we use this resolution you can have it on 1024 if you want or higher okay so uh, stone wall or something a new V. You have to have it selected to have it made it. Oh. Then we go to Photoshop or use GIMP or a photo program. Then go to the Stonewall UV. Open it. We got the UVs, but we cannot see them. Gonna make a down here. Make a new layer. Yeah, this got it. Just 
uh, it's in the corners so it's really hard to see it's up there then we find a stone texture just try to google okay so just type into google uh, concrete texture find a picture you can use don't use this commercially it's just for practice and then I just select sec selected all the C3L A and then uh, copied with C3L C copy and then paste C con or control V then I see I got it there delete and then control T for translate and control and zero zooms out or you can just do like this if you type in control zero on your numpad on your keyboard and just press shift scale it down to the size we need I guess this is not a beginner tutorial but a little more we had to know of Photoshop and also about Maya then we got it in the yeah. and then we are gonna make a little dirt so it looks like it belong in this world then we make a new layer and just press B for a brush and then the dirt I found out that you just need a little don't go overboard also in the if this is like the top and this is the bottom then I'm gonna delete a little gonna brush it in and then we're gonna save it done all color and just have a folder for everything you can um, go to Maya then project window and type whatever name you want on your project or click new then type your name then accept and after that go to file set project then click on the folder and set then everything you save, if you save your scene, it's gonna get to that project level. Sorry, it's a lot to remember. So we got the diffuse or color. And it's important to level all your textures. Looks a lot better in Unity. So just like this then we're gonna make a normal map or a bump map just really quick you can model it and then make it out of a high res model that takes too long so yeah just basic make just make basic things then I just dragged it down to uh, new made a new copy of it and we call it bump and we hide this and we're gonna make it uh, monochrome so hue and saturation and the saturation down 
then this black will be pulled in therefore we're gonna select it by hitting control and put it to white now it will be pulled out look a little bit better and for bump we can probably make a little more contrast like this then we are finished with our bump with control shift and s oops and make it targa stone wall bump I'm gonna save the color we saved it as a photoshop file but we need a file also then we're gonna go to unity you just go to the folder you got it like the um, like the object will be in the scenes folder so then I got the wall Or I didn't save it. Yeah, I haven't saved it. So stone wall wall list have already it. So this gonna just delete it and try again. Then we got it in Unity. On Unity, you just create new project, drag it in here, and have it show up like this. Then we're gonna right-click, create material. So, wall, and it's uh, can you just create folders for everything. So materials, objects, textures can be here. Then I'm gonna place it in materials. Stone all, drag it over to the object. Then we got bump and color. This is the color. Put it there. Stone wall bump to normal map. Press fix now. Then go to the uh, normal map that Unity created. Just turn down the bumpiness. Hit apply. And go to this and smoothness down. Just look at it if it's look it looks bad then fix it or tweak it and I'm gonna place it at 90 degrees press W R to move things, scale it up a little. Let's fix it a little. Need more dirt. I'm gonna go to the color and check. Okay, this is the dirt. This B. Then adjust it. Add more dirt. Like so. And then save it. 
Okay, save first the Photoshop file, then go to Tariga and say the color. I have to delete this. I haven't found a better solution. And then uh, drag in the color again. Just don't know. Yeah, it works. It's not perfect. It's not the worst, it's not the prettiest. If you want me to make another object, just post a comment below. Now I'll uh, make it and show how it's made with uh, the same techniques, just the basic stuff over and over and over again. I'll make it really low poly so it's really easy to follow and that the tutorial is not going to be 5 hours long. So see you in the next video, bye bye.